Hey guys, it's the Cheap Guy here. I just wanted to uh, show you some quick ways to save money in the kitchen with some things, all right? So I'm gonna show you a couple little hacks. I mean, you probably know these already or some of them, but hey, if it saves you a couple bucks, why not? All right, when it comes to dishes, first thing, you've got the soap here, right? You get a little Tupperware, you put some of the soap in there, put it with water, and then you put your sponge in it and it goes a lot longer. So that's one way to make your your dish soap lasting longer. Here's the other thing. See this sponge right here? This is way too big. Why? Okay, because why do sponges go bad? Why do you get rid of sponges? Because they just absorb the, the nastiness and they start smelling really bad, okay? You can wash your dishes with a half or a third of that. So you take some scissors, okay, and you cut it and you make your sponges last two or three times as long because this will wash everything you need just as well as that will and it will save the half or the two-thirds left fresh and so when this goes nasty you throw it out and you grab another one instead of throwing out the whole thing. This is another great thing okay so that's really dirty um, even though it's not dirty it just looks dirty because these stain easy but if you use rags instead of paper towels or even instead of sponges for that matter, there's a few advantages, okay? First of all, you can use them for everything. You can use them for counters, sinks. You can even use them for floors, ovens, microwaves. You can use them to clean all kinds of things. The other advantage you have is you can wash them. You can put them in the laundry, clean them, and then reuse them. And so they are going to last longer than a sponge. They're gonna be reusable. And there are tricks to make sponges a little reusable, but they're not that great. So that's the cool thing about a rag that you can buy. I bought a huge pack off of Home Depot um, and there was a huge deal. I basically got them free, but I have rags for the rest of my life. But other things you can do is just make them for free. So old t-shirts you can cut up or rags. And what you do, you just put like a bucket under here and when they're dirty or nasty, throw them in there and then throw them in your laundry. And honestly, they can go with your clothes uh, because they don't take up much room. So that's the other thing. The last thing I wanted to just share with you is something that is pretty common. But okay, so I got this low-fat cottage cheese from Costco, and it says this big bucket. Well, this is my Tupperware. It's free Tupperware. And I like this for a couple of reasons. One, I don't have to pay. Two, it's just easy to match the lid. You don't lose that. But here's the other thing, okay? I just put spaghetti in this. All right, I cleaned it, but it's all dyed orange. If I had some nice Tupperware and I used spaghetti with sauce in there, it would also dye the Tupperware. And so this is actually a easy thing that if I don't want to wash it or if I decide I don't want to use spaghetti in there anymore or whatever it may be, I can just throw it out and it's not a big deal. I'm constantly replenishing my free Tupperware. So. Those are the quick tips just in the kitchen sink area. Extend your dish soap, extend your sponges, uh, replace your paper towels, and get some free Tupperware. And you know what? Those things over time will actually save you money and it'll start to pay off. For you today, uh, welcome to my kitchen. Thanks for watching and keep saving that money. Cheap guy out.